How's it going everyone? Zero here and today's video is gonna be like about one of my favorite stories of all time. Uh, it's gonna be about the first time I met Michigan or, or Jason, right? And this is a very special story, right? I, I first got to know about Jason, this is like back in 2007 right i was like just looking around melee videos looking how to improve how to like improve my fox game and, and me chicken was a very well known fox player back in the day so i heard about him being really good i decided to look him up on youtube and i found out all these mlg videos from this uh, 2006 circuit and also about his marth play and i was like wow this guy is really freaking good and i was really impressed with his gameplay but that was it and then Back in 2009, um, I, I took a break from Smash, and then in, at the end of 2010, I came back to Smash, and I started playing Brawl competitively. I won the national championship in Chile in 2011, and you'll see why this little background story matters, like the connection from 07 to 08, uh, 010. <laughs> but basically, is that after that, I, I started researching for people to help me out to improve my Brawl gameplay, because in 2011, I was, I was an up-and-coming player. I wasn't like, you know, the, the zero that everyone knows, you know, today. I was just another online player that was just good, you know, maybe decent. And then I I, I think it literally just started like this. Like I just, I, I, I found out I was just starting to use Facebook because I was not too fond of Facebook when it first came out. I was like, eh, I wasn't really feeling it. No pun intended. And then... I found out about Mijikin's Facebook. It was, you know, Jason Zimmerman, and I just added him. I was like, "Hey, what's up? You know, I'm, I'm the guy who wins tournaments in Chile." I was just thinking, if we can maybe share some strategies or something. And to my surprise, right? But Jason was just like, "Sure, man, I'll, I'll, I'll help you out." And, 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 and Jason was going through a lot of like problems back then. He was just were not some of his ideal times he was it was it was right after a lot of like incidents and drama happened around his life so he wasn't like too motivated with life and and from what he told me he felt very motivated to like pass on his knowledge to someone who was motivated to do something with it and i'm a very motivated being so so jason was very generous with the information he will give me he will he will teach me a lot of things a lot of like how to how to frame trap how to I do a lot of things. He taught me so much. He was definitely my my teacher for a while, and and I was so thankful for it. But at the same time, I also got to how to like go past that because after we were talking about Smash, we'll eventually just talk about life, and we will have this super long combos for like hours a day, like several, several, several hours a day. We'll just talk every day for several hours a day for like. A year pretty much that was a while and then i told him during the middle year hey dude i'm actually coming to the us like i'm actually going to apex and he was like he was like dude that's awesome and uh, i was set i was set to ha be housed with vex who is in philadelphia and he's a well-known smasher there for both male and bro one of, my, one of my current best friends right now and back then you know i was just you know i didn't know anything about it you know any of the us thing because that was my first time traveling and you know he housed me and then i still remember this day it was so funny it was a really cold day in december of 2011 it was the winter east coast <sighs> tri-state gets so cold there's snow outside i'm not used to snow there's no snow in my country and then dude i still remember it. vex told me that michigan was coming over to play me and and also staying there for, for apex so i was going to be able to train with him and then randomly they just open the door and it's like i see jason just walk out walk in and he's like my fingers are cold my fingers are cold hey zero my fingers are cold my fingers are cold and i'm like i'm like hey jason and he's like hi and i'm like that was so weird and then it was so cool though and and then we played we played a best of fights i still remember it, it was it was Mennonite that was in brawl and 
and I lost three two, and I was like, wow. I was like, I was like, I was like, dude, I've watched this guy so many times in the videos, but I was still get hit by the same things. I was like, wow, this is so awesome. Like, I just, I just wanted to get hit by all of this, and it was like, it was awesome. I don't know. It was just a really surreal experience to watch and talk, talk to someone for so many years, and then finally get to that playtime moment. It was like, it was like. It was very inspiring. It was very inspiring, very motivating. It was, it was, it was amazing. It was one of the most amazing experiences of my life, especially for all the. It was like an adventure just to get to that moment. I felt like I made it at that point. And yeah, I don't know. It was really weird or, or funny, I will say, to just have the first first words come out of him his mouth, just being like, "Hey, zero. I just literally just like this <laughs> across the door, like super casual, like like he will just see me any day. And then ever since then, we've just been buddy buddies. It just happened um we have similar point of views towards life we we get to interact in a lot of different ways we like anime we like games um we we have our talks in here and then we're, we just we just got pretty close together that's just how it how it happened and dude i have so many funny m2k stories m2k zero stories but that's gonna be for another video <laughs> definitely gonna be making like like a story is bloggers. I have a lot of cool things I want to like share with you guys. I feel like you guys are going to enjoy it for a reason or two. So yeah. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and and also you guys get motivated cuz honestly, my story is nothing like magical. Like things don't happen out of magic. Always. <laughs> but they happen because of I believe because of effort and then motivation. And I definitely want to motivate you guys to chase whatever dream you have because i don't judge uh, you guys you guys everyone has a dream or objective or goal or whatever they want to accomplish and i believe that motivation is super important for that and i want to motivate you guys so let's do that let's get ready for that and i'll continue the series and i just hope you guys come along for a ride it's gonna be fun trust me all right guys it's been fun so i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on with another video i'm actually planning to do a video for dk customs i believe it should be coming sometime around this week but also let me know how the blogs are working out and, and i'll see what's up but yeah guys thank you so much for supporting and i'll see you guys around zero out